So we're at what is essentially a salvage yard and we have a pile of Tesla battery modules, sorry, battery packs out of a car. There's uh, Ys and threes here. And we wanna see which one, which one of these is any good. So uh, we have TPM here, Tesla pack monitor with our <laughs> newly designed Y and three cables here that look like that with the Sumitomo pain in the butt connectors. And this is Tesla pack monitor. So it comes with a battery pack. We're gonna plug it in. It lights up. We already have it plugged into the battery pack right down here. And as soon as it comes up, it's gonna detect that it's a three or Y or newer S or X versus classic X or S. Uh, you see it's getting 33 brick, bricks in, 36. This takes a while. These uh, Y and three modules, three packs rather, stop saying that, are slow to report their data, but it is getting there. You see CAN bus active, you know you got a good thing going on. Pack type I told you about, and you can actually start turning the dial to look through different screens. This gives you the serial number, uh, the day it was made, and the factory TG1 is Tesla Gigafactory 1. Uh, here's some other readings we'll get into later. Overall pack voltage, 370 volts. And let's see if it's um, state of charge, high and low. This is all good. All good info. Now we know we have a live pack. It's pretty tight. It's reporting. Of course, check for physical damage on this too, but that's not only going to tell you part of the story. And uh, the total millivolt spread is 18 millivolts throughout this whole pack is uh, not too bad. So to get more detailed information, we go to Scan My Tesla, which we have running on an Android phone. Your iPhone will look a little bit different. Start that up. Now you're going to connect to a CAN server. That's what this thing acts as. So you go to the settings, select instead of Bluetooth CAN server, select that you have a 3 or a Y, and the uh, firmware say after whatever it says there. Now you see it's connecting, it's thinking, it's doing stuff. Now data's coming in. And the data's rolling in. You can see this. You'll get all of the more detailed information, which will be available here until we're able to decode all of this information in the dial itself and then generate a report. Uh, it will generate uh, full text reports like it does with the S and X, eventually with the 3 and Y when we figure out all the data. Scan my Tesla has it figured out and you can get a pretty good idea of what's going on. See all the individual cell voltages. As you can see, they're rolling in slowly, but they are coming. Now to, to reiterate now, we are connected to a Y pack outside the car in a big pile of battery packs using TBM, TPM rather, Tesla pack monitor as a CAN server which is passing the data along to scan my Tesla. The TPM and the phone are on the same Wi-Fi network. It automatically found the CAN server built into TPM and is displaying this information. Very handy. Uh, we have another cable that will plug into a car and give you the same information uh, through the scan my Tesla adapter and uh, no, this is the S version. Uh, we have other adapters for that. So, available for order now. The cables, uh, rather, the software will catch up to the hardware here. We have the cables ready to go, and the software is evolving. And you'll be able to flash this yourself with the latest software when available.